My name is Johannes Ott. I'm currently I'm working at the Medical University of Vienna at the Clinical Division of Gynecology, Endocrinology and Reproductive Medicine as an associate professor and at the same time I'm the deputy head of this clinical division. One major point is of course that in Western countries women tend to postpone uh, their desire to have children to an older age. So for instance, above 30 years of age or 35 years of age because um, business uh, comes first and career comes first. And we do know from literature that when the desire to have children is postponed to a higher age, problems can arise. So the fertility uh, decreases, the overall fertility decreases with increasing age above the age of 30 and even more pronounced above the age of uh, 35 or even 40 and at the same time with increasing age even when a woman gets pregnant um, the rate and the chance, the risk uh, for having a miscarriage increases unfortunately. So the majority of women do know that folic acid is a very important supplemental uh, to get pregnant and to maintain a healthy pregnancy. Because folic acid provides the baby from developing neural tube defects. But folic acid alone is not the only requirement and the only probably helpful supplementation to achieve and probably maintain a pregnancy. There are several other supplementals and micronutrients which can be very helpful in achieving a pregnancy. And uh, the preparation, Profitil Female, uh, includes many of these. And all of the substances that are included in the Profitil Female preparation have been shown in various studies that they exert positive and beneficial effects on female fertility. Folic acid is a very important supplemental uh, to get pregnant and to maintain a healthy pregnancy. Because folic acid provides the baby from developing neural tube defects. But folic acid alone is not the only requirement and the only probably helpful supplementation uh, to achieve and probably maintain a pregnancy. There are several other supplementals and uh, micronutrients which can be very helpful in achieving a pregnancy and uh, the preparation Profitil Female uh, includes many of these and all of the substances that are included in the Profitil Female preparation have been shown in various studies that they exert positive and beneficial effects on female fertility. And that's why we chose Profitil Female as a substance to test in two prospective randomized trials that we conducted at the Medical University of Vienna. So what we wanted to do was to test a substance, a preparation that had already been mixed and was already available on the market uh, at the time that we started the study. Um, that's why we chose um, Profitil Female and we, could, we conducted two prospective trials. Uh, one about the influence of Profitil Female uh, on the outcomes of an IVF, an in vitro fertilization treatment. And what we saw in that study was that Profitil Female led to a higher rate of high quality embryos and towards a tendency uh, towards um, a better pregnancy rate, which of course is the most important factor you know, in IVF. We prospectively tested whether Profitil Female would exert beneficial effects on polycystic ovary syndrome. Polycystic ovary syndrome is a very common syndrome uh, nowadays. Uh, it affects about 7-10% to 10 of young 
uh, females, young women uh, at the age of fertility. Polycystic ovary syndrome um, is defined by three criteria. So one of these polycystic ovaries, um, which give a name to the syndrome. So it means that uh, there are multiple follicles on the ovary which uh, tend to produce uh, an increased amount of testosterone, so the main male hormone, which of course is a little too much if it is uh, markedly increased in women. Uh, and this all together leads to the problem that ovulation does not come frequently every month and that women suffer from oligoaminuria, uh, which means that the bleeding intervals, the time intervals between the menstruations are prolonged. And uh, we could show that uh, with profitil female, women with polycystic ovary syndrome um, had lower testosterone levels after three months of intake and that also other characteristics of polycystic ovary syndromes uh, had the tendency to become better and to normalize again. So what is the role of profitil female in gynecologic practice? Basically, of course, when we're looking back to the mentioned study uh, about profitil female, IVF patients and uh, embryo quality, we of course cannot prove an increase in embryo quality uh, in daily clinical routine when we're not doing IVF. But uh, one clearly gets uh, the impression that with the use of profitil female, uh, cycle length tends to normalize, ovulation seems to occur in treated patients more frequently uh, and in addition to that Sometimes you have the impression in ultrasound that even the increase in endometrial size improves uh, so that we have uh, the idea uh, and the feeling that profitil female leads to a better capacity of the endometrium to allow embryo implantation. I can remember one young patient uh, a young lady with a quite um, strong polycystic ovary syndrome about the age of 25 uh, who suffered a lot from her problems and did not manage to become pregnant for about two years and she had tried several other treatments some of them uh, were not of success uh, and some others uh, were not tolerated well by her uh, and then um, I just had the idea of giving uh, her a profitil female and after a time interval of about uh, three to four months uh, she was very lucky um, to have normalized cycles again, stable cycles um, with good ovulations that were tested with LH uh, increases uh, in her urine and after a total treatment duration of about seven to eight months she became pregnant by herself, so it was a normal uh, conception and um, that uh, story is uh, already a few months or even a few years ago and now she has a healthy uh, girl and she had delivered it at term and she's now a very happy young mother.